Right, so something different. Um, first time I've ever done an episode of The Shout by myself. I've actually got Shireen here to my left, but we're not going to pan over because it's just too much effort, to be honest. But <laughs> <laughs> but Shireen's here to contribute. Um, Zayn is away in Cyprus, as usual. And um, yeah, we're just going to just do an episode. We've got some questions here that um, people have sent. Some of the questions I haven't read that I've kind of had to dig around for in the shouts um, inbox. I just picked out some interesting ones. So yeah, just gonna talk through some of these questions and Shireen's gonna chip in where necessary. I'm sure if something interest, uh, interesting enough comes up, Dwayne will have his little two takes. When Dwayne says something, you know it's, <laughs> <laughs> you know he means it, so. All right, let's get into it. Do women know what they really want? Do women know what they want, okay? I've spent most of my life. <laughs> <I'm> sorry. <laughs> this is a good one. I thought, yeah, real talk. I've spent most of my life being a nice guy, and it hasn't got me anywhere. I'm starting to believe the saying that nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last. What do you think? Unfortunately, there's some. There's a lot of truth in that statement. There is, and that's why I laughed. Because <laughs> there's a lot of truth. Like, imagine that though, because you get a lot of these women out here saying, "This men are trash." I'm, I'm going on that rant again. I'm going on that rant again. Yeah. Men are trash. Men are this. Men are that. But let a guy be too nice to a woman and see what happens. <laughs> let a brother be too nice and see what happens. You know it's what? mad. The thing is, it's with maturity and age. Because I know when I was younger, when I was in You're my... You talk about women. I'm talking about women. Yeah. Yeah. As, a, as a woman yeah. myself, yeah. when I was in my late teens, early 20s, I had guys that were too nice. I, 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 I know, and I'll be like, but for me, it was more because I was at that point in my life where, you know what, I but did you were not young. give a damn. Yeah, but I'm saying like up to my, my early 20s. Yeah. Okay. So, But for me, it's because I knew that I was I was easily able to take a direct mick with them. That's what it was. But then I, I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's changed though. I feel yeah. like now, if a guy was too nice, you would do the same thing. And 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 yeah. I know, you no, know, you're a good per, you're a good woman. You're one of the good ones. I've but, matured a lot. <laughs> yeah, but I still feel no. But I honestly, like, I understand why mm -hmm. that puts women off though. Mm -hmm. Because a man needs to show up and be a man, and you need that's, to make a woman right. feel that is my that. thing. I have told I, even my last relationship. I actually turned around at one point and said to him. Look, if I've done something wrong, you need to tell me. Put me in my place. Tell me. Why am I going to do that? You shook. you got to be a man. But you know what, yeah? I, I was... But Shireen, the reason why this makes sense or why I'm like, would you... Because I was a... Up until I was about 19, mm. when, it, when it hit me like a ton of bricks, I was the, I was the model. You know what I mean? I wouldn't, I wouldn't argue... I wasn't really on the argument thing. I was very compliant. I allowed a lot of things to go over my head. I allowed a lot of things to slide, a lot of blatant disrespect until you kind of realise, hang on a second, maybe I need to like, if like, as you said, if someone's doing something to disres be disrespectful. If he was, like, if I did some, if I needed to put them in their place or if I needed to, then I would just do it. And like, so I think there was one time I felt so disrespected and that made, you and that made yeah. me feel like you know what like i don't feel like you have to then turn into a dickhead no, no, no that's no, not no, what i'm no, saying no. I, I don't think that's the way but stand your ground when necessary yeah and, and also as way. well there's there's ways of like courting women yeah and i think that um you have to kind of you got it's, it's a quite a tricky um thing especially if you're in especially if you're like really attracted to the person mm -hmm. so if you're really attracted to a woman what you end up doing is over pursuing yeah do you know what I mean? But Which is a thing. Like you wouldn't think nowadays with the way these women are going on that over pursuing would be a problem, but, but it actually is. It works both ways though. It works both ways. And I get it because now the older we get, women are the thing of, oh, I want a nice man and da 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 da, but then they're not accepting it. But that's, that, I, I don't know. I know. And I feel it happens more from a woman to a man than vice versa, if that makes sense. And it does. We appreciate women who are all over us. We take I the piss. Yeah. Some of us take the piss. That's the problem, but though. But we won't, we're not stupid enough to let them go or be like, okay. But, 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 <laughs> but, but, 
up with it. I just saw it the way <laughs> in the corner of my eye. No, no. it goes. Like, with whom you're taking the piss, if you. I don't know a guy who is that much on his game to be taking a direct mic. But still showing that girl 100%, you know what, it's you. That doesn't make you, you have to be one or the other. Exactly. Or, or a medium. No, so but there's a healthy medium. I think I've got the balance. I don't, okay, that's not to say that I take the pick. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, 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 listen. When I say I think I've got the balance. I'm so sorry, when I, <laughs> I think there's a balance. Okay, when I say taking the, I, I wouldn't necessarily say the other side of it is taking the direct mic. I, I mean, the other side is, is like, I understand that. You have to kind of give a person to the the chance to choose you, yeah. and and I always say to what I what I started saying when I was when I got a little bit older, mm. so past 19, 20, early twenties, I'd always say to girls that I'm interested. Before you talk anything super nice to me, you have to decide whether how I like if you like me or not. You have to yeah. decide that you right now you're attracted to me and I, mm -hmm. and we're we have a good time, but you have to decide whether you like me or not before you know feelings start really getting exchanged. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But before it, I would kind of dive in head first into a shallow pool. Yeah. What's gonna happen? Like it's gonna hit your head. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Like yeah. so that that's what would that was always what was happening. But I think, yeah, you have to find that balance. And now as I got older, I thought, okay, there's a way of like keeping that little bit of mystery. Not and it's not even the point that I'm tactically doing it. I just know yeah, how yeah. to yeah. position myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. but and in the same token, there have been times where and fairly recently, there have been times where there's girls who I've been super attracted to and maybe strayed over to the being the really nice guy because I don't want them to see, um, I don't want them to know like how man's kind of been living the last couple. Anyway, <laughs> anyway let, me not, let me not get into that because I know people who watch this, people, family members are watching this. But anyway, yeah, I, I kind of, I, what? no, forget it, I'll say it. What, sometimes I will be, sometimes I will, I have been and I can't say typical trash man. Not trash, but I've been really nice because I I, oh, I know yes. how I have been, yeah. and it doesn't mean I've been like a like I'm never disrespectful. No, I'm never yeah, taken yeah. like yeah. you know like I'm not that kind of guy. But I'm just being honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I meet a, a woman I really like, I don't want her to get that perception of me. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But to be fair, I feel like women have can see right through that shit. Most yeah. times they're not. They be like the amount of times I've heard like, oh you're a, you're a this. And I'm like no, I'm not like. Maybe last year, but that's not me now. Like, you know what I mean? Like, but I'm saying to you, it works both ways. Do you know what I mean? Because I honestly do feel, I'm not saying that men can't see nothing, but I honestly do feel women will pick up on things a lot quicker yeah. than a man. Yeah, no, no, no. Intuition. So, so, so don't get me wrong. Yeah, it's a thing of going back to what the, what, what the question was. Yes, women will complain that we want nice men. And when we get it, we don't know how to deal with it. So we'll push that away because you know That's what? Mad. Well to, we're too used to dealing with a certain type of guy. That's not all women though. I know. I'm going, I kind of have my experience. Don't get me wrong. I've got to the point now where I've had to just kind of accept the niceness. Even when I was younger, I had, okay, I had one guy I was with for ages and yeah, he was overly nice, but it was. <laughs> and you're not with him now. He was, he was older than me. He was older than me. Mm. So for me, I kind of put that in context with his age. Now me being older, I, yeah. But I still need a mix of both. I can't it's, have... It's finding the healthy balance. Yeah. It's like it's like the third bowl of porridge in Goldilocks yard. I mean, in the Free Bears house. Not too hot, <laughs> not too warm, just right. You know what I mean? And then you settle. Like, but this is the thing. It's like, but... <laughs> And then you settle with that thing and then you eat that bowl and then you go to sleep and then the owners of the house come back. Anyway, like, let me, um, oh let me, let me bring it back around. The thing is, yeah, is like, you, you want to, you can't stray away from who you actually are. So no, exactly. I can't change the fact that I was brought up to respect yeah, women, yeah. to be chivalrous, to open doors, to yeah. offer to pay, to walk on the traffic side. Like, I can't change that. Yeah. I'm always going to display that. But at the same time, I want it to be abundantly clear yeah. that you cannot take the piss. Yeah. And when I say you cannot take the piss, I don't mean that, like you can, you, you're free to say and do whatever you want, mm. but then understand that there's consequences to that. And I should, I feel exactly the same way towards that. If I, if I show a woman that I'm blatantly disinterested, then I expect her to not return my calls, 
not accept my invites to go out because that's what I've shown you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, and it's the same thing. So if yeah. a woman all of a sudden shows that she's not interested, then how can you expect that? But anyway, that's a, that's, a, that's a different thing. But yeah, so you have to, like, I don't think that you should stray away from who you are, but you have yeah. to know, like, over-pursuit is a real thing. And I think guys who are too nice are so concerned. And what I think what women can see mm. is that you're almost putting her, the, they don't want to be put on a pedestal. I don't think you guys really want to be put on a pedestal. Like you, you do, but you don't, because you, you lot are flipping weird. That's my phone, That's my phone. Yeah. But I'm wondering why you're saying you lot. Yeah, because it's your species. Yeah. But I'm saying, yeah, you guys want to be put on a pedestal, but not too much. Put me on a pedestal a little bit, but not too much, because if you do too much, then I'm gonna know that I've I got you around my finger. I don't want to be put on a pedestal, so I'm, and you know what I'm like. This is why I say you can't say you lot because you. Am I genuinely your typical type of no, lady? No, exactly. No, no, no. This is what I say. You but you know, but I know bear yeah, them. there is because I know girls who want to be put on a pedestal and they love it, but that's just their way of kind of being shown off. Do you know what I mean? But on a general basis, don't put the woman on the pedestal. Don't do it. When you do that, how are you going to continue? throughout the rest of your type of relationship. Do you know what I mean? Because, yeah, when the dynamics change, that's the thing. That's what you're right, because you have to be careful with that, putting women on a pedestal, because if you do that and then all of a sudden you switch it, they're going to be like, who, who are you? you right. Like, what do you mean? What do you mean you're, you're speaking up? What do you mean there. you're speaking up? Can't, Sit can't. down. And, and that's just, another battle that you don't want to fight. having that balance in general, though, because even, don't get me wrong, I know everyone's on this thing of, oh, you've got to treat your man like a king and da 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 Yeah, I'm all for that. But do you know what? It's the same type of thing, putting your man up on a pedestal. Because then when you're doing something now, can you understand where I'm going but with a But Shereen, do you see the difference in mentality though? And, and do you know what someone said to me yesterday? Mm. Or recently, I should say yesterday, recently, yeah? Like, they said that men, like, will, they feel a lot more in like, the, especially in the courting stage, if they're really into a girl, yeah. they're probably a little bit more emotional or they want to make yeah. a relate, they wanted to make it into a relationship. I was like, well, it depends. If the guy doesn't like you, then he's just going to want to have sex. Yeah. But if a guy's into you, actually into you, he's going to want to make it official quicker than the women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. I was like, it's true. that's actually true. It's true. Like, we actually, if we're both on the same page, it's us who's, who's and that's, I think that's got to do with us being like hunters and mm -hmm. wanting to like go for what we want and go for our purpose and go for it. But you have, again, you have to find a balance because yeah, balance. if you do that too much or you do that too quickly, it will drive women the other way there'll be a thing of like well he's too clingy why is he over me but then you say man i trash know, I it's know. mad but this 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 is why like i say to you i can't ever say men are trash because if i'm saying that i'm gonna have to say women are trash because i know oh, women Lord. Do far more than yeah, men yeah, do. yeah 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 i mean i i do think the saying just to kind of round it off i think it is true i think it's kind of been proven yeah. i think there is space for nice guys but it's just how nice it depends on how the nicest is if you're too compliant, too available yeah. to this, then you're gonna struggle. Think of a different word to use besides nice, because it's not about being nice. That nice bit, I know what you mean. It's about being a walkover, being a pushover. Yeah, that for me, when you say too nice, it's more about that. Just basically, I can do what I want with you and take yeah. a direct mic. Yeah, yeah. But it's not about that. I want that type of man who he he's a man, but yet he still he's still in touch with his feminine side, his emotions and. Do you know what I mean? So it's not like... Third bowl of porridge. <sighs> Can I have a so... mixture of all three porridge? <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs>